Okay, uh, hello my friend, hopefully that you are doing great. So in this lecture, I want to share you how to create a utility class um, to handle sprite action uh, for mobile screens. Because, you know, you, if you have something related to, to spy the mobile screen in your project, you probably need some utility class to handle them instead of just copy over and over, right? So in this lesson, uh, I just want to share you some basic uh, feature. I mean, some just some basic methods, and then uh, you can do your own yourself uh, based on your project, right? Because um, the logic here is not something like, you know, specific, but something like you have to do by this way or that way. It depends on the logic and the application that you are testing. So I just share you some, you know, some demonstration enough for you to have some basic uh, utility function to handle the spy action for mobile screens. That's it. Okay. So now uh, we already knew how to uh, spy horizontally and vertically. So maybe we will need to create a new class under the bucket uh, YouTube. Uh, in this case, I will have something like uh, swipe action class, okay? So you can name another name, it's up to you. So just keep it simple. I just want to put in class and the utility uh, methods will be status function, okay? So I just put something like public uh, voice status and the first function that I want to have that uh, public status void. Uh, the first function I want to have that uh, swipe, uh, maybe the uh, swipe, swipe up, right? Swipe up, swipe down or something like that, swipe up. And I want to have another Let's start with, I think we can start with swipe from left to right. Okay. And I want to have another, what's it, the typo here? Okay. So I want to have another overwriting uh, methods. Okay. Um, that uh, overlapping method that I want to have one parameter related to how many times that we want to uh, swipe from the left to the right because we already have in the lesson how to swipe mobile screen horizontally. Okay, so I just copy this one. And then I will have another overlapping methods here. Uh, in this case, I want to put an integer like the how many time, time to swipe. Or we just symbol put something like times in this case. So that's mean I want to copy swipe horizontally here from the left to the right, right? From this is from the right to the left, and this is the left to the right. So I just try to simple like I want to copy all of the thing here, and I think in swipe action here I need to provide uh you know a constructor. No, I don't want to have a constructor here. I just want to have you know, um, okay, so just remove the status here. And I will have another constructor here, public uh, swipe action here, and I will provide a private uh, Appium driver uh, and mobile element here is just the appium driver in this case okay so i will provide an appium driver mobile element appium driver here and i will set this appium driver equal appium driver that i will provide when i create a new instance for y action here and then inside here, I just want to copy because we already have the code from swipe from the left to the right, right? So I think I can move uh, this one up. Just put control C and the up here. And this is the time. So I will have something like swipe from left to right here. So I just want to copy all of the thing here. So swipe label. Uh, 
this is the test. Here, get the mobile screen. Maybe I will copy from the line 29 here to the end, and then I will delete um, the right to the left, okay? So just copy here and I paste here. Now I will delete this Y action from the right to the left here. And then I will keep this Y action from the left to the right direction here. So this is the FEM driver. So this does FEM driver minus get size. And then we can remove the disk. That should be okay. Yeah, but I just want to make it uh, more clear so in this case after you create an instance so we will have the FM driver here and then we do it here so this one can help us to swipe from the left to the right I don't think I need to explain again what is uh, what is the logic inside right because we already uh, knew about that so here the for, for the method swipe from left to right and then we input something like how many times we do so we just keep it simple like four into the uh the init time uh i mean initialization time so in this case init time should be equal zero and then while the init time still less than the time that we want to swipe then after that, I will try to increase the init time to one unit here. I will call this dot y from the left to the right, right? So we just call y from the left to the right here because we don't need to copy all of the thing here. So this is the way we can do it. So this is why uh, I think we have it in y particularly here. So what I want to do that I will try to replace the thing inside here, right? So let's say I want to try to uh, comment out. Oh, this is vertically. So I think we need to do in Y horizontally here. So what I want to do that I will try to comment out uh, from of the thing here from the line 29 here to the end here I just want to comment out everything here and what I want to do here I will create a new instance wipe action swipe action from the utility package here okay swipe action uh, swipe action equal new swipe action and then in this case I will provide the FEM driver for it after that, I call swipe action dot uh, swipe from uh, the left to the right here. Okay, so in this case, it will swipe just one one time because I didn't provide how many times uh, that I need to swipe. Okay, so let's try to test it out first. Okay, now we open the terminal and then we start the IBM server on the default port 27, uh, 23 now. Uh, just wait a moment. Now it starts. So you click on the run button here and then you run it. See whether it send the desired capability to the IBM server. Okay, here we go. And then I will open the advisor application to see whether uh, it can connect to the VI. Here we go. It's still trying to contact with the bootstrap uh, client on the device. And sorry for error, uh, any background noise around here. It will swipe from up. I think it should be from the right to the left, right? From the right to the left, not the left to the right. Okay. So in this case, I will copy one more action here from the right to the left here. So I just simply copy this one. And then I will go back to swipe. Uh, action class here and then this the left to the right so i will do something like uh it's not uh, good here because i think we need to set something like some property here but just keep it simple and then you can enhance later uh, if you understand so let's say that i have another publish uh for it and why from right to 
left. Okay. So I just paste it here and try to uncomment uh, those lines. So this line should be something like okay. This is the this is the one. So the third action here. So I think we need to init the third action in this case equal new. So okay, just get the third action out of the uh, this function, and then I will put it as a uh, uh, one of property so oops so I think it's, we should have something like private third action here right and then I will do something like the third action equal new third action and this does every appm driver here so we can give the third action here and the start point and end point so in this case I think the start point and end point we need to set the start point and end point in this case uh let's say uh okay let's try to copy this one first and then to make it work first right and then we can enhance so just come back to swipe horizontally here so we have the this is from the right to the left start point right and end point. So in this case, I just want to copy something like start point and end point. So let's say I think we can put something here. Uh, point option here. Okay. So just put some private, uh, some property here. So private here, and then I will copy the point option here. Start point here. Okay. And then I will have something like private uh, point option again. And in this case, I just want to copy the end, uh, the end point here to avoid any typo. Okay, so we have the start point and the end point. So what I want to do is uh, I want to get the, maybe I will, I will get the dimension and all the things here. So let me try to delete this one. I don't want to, uh, we don't need that one anymore because it's now the property from the instance. So, and this one, I think we need to cut all of the things here to cut it. And then I will boost in the constructor. So as the time we create a new instance, we will init the start point and the end point here. And then we can use inside, let me try to do it. I uh, can view inside the methods here. So touch action, start point, end point here. And to swipe from the left to the right, we just switch from the end point and the start point. I don't think we need to, I need to explain again, right? So we just need to switch for something like that. So start point, where the start point? No, I need to do something like start point here and end point here. We don't need to have the this keyword, but uh, to make it more clear, we can put something like this dot start point and this end point. So I just want to explain again. So at the time we have a constructor here, we will try to provide the the FPM where the FPM driver. This one, okay. We provide the property FPM driver from outside, and then after that we will create a new task action instance here. Then after that, we will get all the dimension and then we calculate the start point and end point, right? So we have swipe from the left to the right, the right to the left here. And I think we can copy this one. Then we can do the same thing here. We need uh, another over, over logging function. In this case, it should be swipe from the right to the left with the time here, how many time, right? So I just copy here and the time here, I just copy replace here. Okay. So now what I want to do that I will come back to swipe horizontally here and then I will go swipe from the right to the left, right? Swipe from the right to the left here. And I run this uh, test function again the test methods again. Okay. Try to start the happy um, 
server here. Actually, it contacted the IBM server and IBM server will communicate with the bootstrap on the device. Okay, let me open the browser. The right to the left. Here we go. So you see, uh, finally, we can do something like that. So I just want to do one more step that I want to go something like swipe action and swipe from now. It should be from the right to the left. And then now I want to do something like the left to the right. Okay. The left, left to right here. And then after that, I can do something swipe action, uh, like from the right to the left. And then I want to provide is why five time okay if uh just do five time here so if everything is okay we can see it will swipe from the right to the left from the left to the right and then from the right to the left five time okay now just run this function again see whether it send okay it have it have just sent the desired capability to the app server and now open the visual application to see what is going on this is still the, 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 the old um, screen, and now it's trying to open the new mobile screen for us. Here we go. Now the right, from the right to the left, from the left to the right, and then five times, one, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Everything was most right. So, uh, I just want to mention again, so just come back to the swipe action class here. As I mentioned from the beginning of this lesson, you may want to put it in an interface and then you can have something like default methods uh, in the interface from Java 8. We have the default methods in interface and then you can implement in another class or you just simply put it in or everything is a uh, same class check like me in this demonstration and then then you have some utility function and then you can do in your uh, projects okay so this is not the only way you can do but this is one of the way you can do and then you can make a utility function for swipe action on mobile screen okay so try to explore around uh, bye for now and see you in the next lesson